I'm here today to talk about Marauders number two. I almost said number one, but it's Marauders number two. And we're up bright and early, and we're not all sleepy, and it's not nighttime, so here we are. <laughs> Marauders number two. <laughs> you are silly. <clears throat> My eyes still, you know, my eyes just don't look like as wide and stuff as, like, you know, as yours. Right, I'm right. looking at myself and I'm like, I can barely see, you know. Well, that's just my face. Okay. Yeah, it's just your face. That's just my face. It's okay. All right. It's fine. I'm hungry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife, you guys. <laughs> um, Marauders number two. Um, I've said before, I really like the Marauders book. This one was, this one is no exception. I thought it was a great book. I thought it was a great time. The artwork is still is still um, top notch. Although yeah, I do like the artwork. <clears throat> although yeah. Fallen Angels is still the best. Yes. Because of the purples. No, I just <laughs> but like um, anyway. But Marauders, Marauders, um, the artwork is is really good. I like the characterizations of all the uh, characters. Although um, Kitty does drink a bit. Um, I'm thinking maybe at some point she's gonna get a reckoning because that a la like something like a Iron Man guy and demon with a bottle maybe hopefully that would be interesting to see Kitty and alcoholism and stuff. But anyway, okay. um, <laughs> it's my head. sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about demon in a bottle later, or you can read it. I have Marvel Unlimited. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it was a great book. I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the characterizations. Um, Emma Frost is a joy. As always. She's always a joy. Emma oh, I'm a fan. Yeah, um when she was when she was a bad guy, I didn't care much for her, but like the way she is now, like her dealings and manipulations of her, like purposely pissing off Shaw. I mean, it, it's just it's so much fun. And then Shaw just being all over the top and 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 uh pissed off about everything and then like the whole thing about Emma sending off um Kitty and her crew to stop Shaw from doing an underhand deal. Like he was, um, his plan, he had um, Baytrock, who was an old Captain America bad guy, or whatever. Baytrock, the dude that kicked uh, Storm. Anyway, um, who was leading that? Yeah, he was leading the other boat. He was in charge of the other boat. So basically, what Shaw does is he decides that he's going to take a boat uh, full of their drugs that was going to Africa. You know, um, to, why you got it? Why you gotta take stuff and steal? Yeah, why gotta, yeah, why, I, why know, I know, I know. Why I gotta be African, y'all? <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm it, just he, saying. You, you know, he took he he the supplies that need to go to a country the, that's in need. Gotta be Africa, and you're gonna try to divert that supply. They're making the book and, realistic. And take it from black man <laughs> to the white man. Whatever. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> he, they're making it realistic. But anyway, he um he he wanted to uh, take the supply and um take it to a country club in America and make money off of selling it to, you know, rich white folks. So Emma was like, <laughs> we're not having that. She sent Kitty Pride and crew to grow and retrieve it and everything and basically sink um, sink his ship or whatever mm -hmm. and just so that he, to put him in financial trouble or whatever. She's like saying, you did that. This is what you get. We're going to punish you by, you know, hitting you in your pockets. So that's basically what she did. Money and, talks. and, um, you know, that was like the main story. Uh, we did get to see Kitty and crew uh, squab with uh, Baytrock and his crew, however you say his name. I don't I'm know. The it. French dude yeah. that kicks a lot. <laughs> you know, oh man, it was so much fun. I mean, he kicked Storm, and Storm is like, How dare you kick me? And then even Pyro is like, You don't kick Storm. So now apparently it's this thing where Storm doesn't like being kicked, and it was just fun. Well, who wants to be hit? Aren't I kicked? know, I know, I know, but you've never seen Storm be like, you know, you don't kick me, fool. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know. And Pyro got so mad that he bit him and talking about you don't kick Storm and all this other stuff. So it was just fun. It was just all around fun. I thought it was interesting that we saw in the background Iceman kiss a dude. Yeah, I saw that when they went to that <laughs> club and they were, you know, getting a drink on or celebrating or whatever. Yeah, I saw that too. I was like, all right, so Iron Man. I mean, Iceman. Iron Man. Iceman is, you know, gay. Yeah, yeah, they okay. that. I, uh, I, though Iceman came out a, a little while ago, like oh, okay. uh, years ago, oh. but it was the younger version of him. So you thought, okay, is this like the mainstream version? But we now see that this Iceman is kissing dude. So there you go. Iceman's gay. Okay. All righty. So um, <laughs> then, you know, and it was cool too that like at the end or whatever, I think they all stepped and went to a little tattoo place and everything. And I will say this. The only thing that would have made this book, in my opinion, cooler is if Kitty at the end said, I'm Rick James, bitch. That would have been just that would have just been it for me. I would have been I would have just fell out. 
<laughs> You'll understand it when you read it. <laughs> what are your thoughts, hon? Um, I like the book. It was um, it was fun, and I did like the art. I'm not going to lie. Kitty Pryde kind of got on my nerves a little bit. You, you know, you're when, not feeling Kitty. I just don't. <laughs> not, this, not this version not of her this anyway. Not this version of Kitty. Just, yeah. No, now I do like when she got into a little fight with the dude, and he was like, do you want to dance? And she was like, you know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That you was know, real cool. She took him, you know. Hit his like, pressure points. Pressure and... points. Basically, almost, I guess, like, you know, immobilized him or whatever, and um, phased him through the boat and, and threw him in the ocean. So I thought that was, you know, pretty funny. But yeah. I don't like when she drinks and get drunk and they just make her just like immature. Just sloppy little, drunk. Yeah, like, I'm like, yeah. that just does not, you know, she's not Wolverine. It does yeah. not work well on her. I just don't think that looks right on a girl or a lady. So I'm yeah. just like, that's the part that I didn't like. But everything to, else um, I like um, about her in, to, the, in the story this time. To be fair though, this is the first time I've seen her depicted this way. Like the last time I really remember seeing her in any role where she did much was when she was the leader of uh, X-Men Gold and she didn't act at all like that. She was more into politics and all this other stuff. So just to see her like this, it's a change. It's it's a little bit different. But, yeah, you know, right. for me, I'm like, okay, I'm embracing it. It's, it's cool to see something a little different and it does show a bit of a personality. But I'm just thinking that there's going to be a reckoning at the end, because I mean, yeah, maybe they'll do something about it because you know we can't just have this lady going off on binges. And yeah, stuff and being like drunk maybe Wolverine will have a talk it's with like, her. Come on, you know, yeah. you know, get it together, Kitty Pride. What yeah. are you? What are you running from that you're always in? Well, not always there in a bottle, but that's like one of your first. That's that's your vice that you're in a bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, maybe you know it would be cool to have like a scene or, or something where Wolverine takes her aside and says, "Look, this this is what I do. This ain't what you do. This ain't you," or something yeah. like that. You know, that would be pretty Find cool. Find something else to do. Yeah, maybe maybe don't sleep with a dude. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so in the beginning of the book, it talks about this top secret eyes only access, and this we don't know from who and it's to the naval intelligence people or whatever and they're just basically giving a rundown or breakdown or everything that's been happening in in marauders with the mutants and the ships and stuff like that um so uh, you know pay attention to that because it gives a lot of details that we don't have time to talk about now who are these people are these emma frost's daughters or these are just the girls because oh, i think i've seen them before the stepford cuckoo oh, the step what are they really called that's what they're called the stepford cuckoos Yes, that's what they call it. They're these sisters. They got these mental abilities. and yeah. Why they got to be called cuckoos like they're crazy? Because <laughs> they were seen as crazy because of their mental uh, powers or whatever. Okay, so why... So she's talking to them and telling them that they all need to be close or stay connected or something or whatever? Yeah, they, they're all on... A, they're all on... They're all like mental things. I've never much cared for them or understood them, but they're... They're like on the mental plane. Yeah, know. but why is she talking to them and making sure they're staying? Because they're, they're talking about you know what what do they have to do with the story? Well, remember, remember the step for they're and she's telling us women need to stick together. Yeah, um, they're kind of like her right hand people or whatever uh, that do like the whole mind thing. Because remember, uh, back in House of X, there was a scene where yeah, where she Professor X had one on with him. Whatever. Well, or, Magneto did when when the oh, ambassadors yeah. were there and, she, did, yeah. and they were able to go and creep into yeah. their minds and tell them oh, everything yeah. about them. That's okay. the sort of thing that they do. Okay. And then, you know, we see, uh, what is it? The Black King? Is that his name? The Black King, Sebastian Shaw. Yeah, Sebastian Shaw. Oh, so we my get introduced goodness. to Sebastian Shaw, him and Emma having this meeting, and she's telling him about, you know, hey, you know, you know, you, you sent these ships over here. You're trying to divert these drugs. You're trying to do this underhanded deal. You know, that wasn't a deal. So, yes, of course, we sunk your boat and. The punishment is, hey, you know, you're out of, you're out you're of, out of supply, a lot of money. You're out of a lot of money. Oh, and by the way, no, you're not gonna be um, on the board because I took that that well, vote. He is on the board. Oh, well, he's but, not the. Yeah. See, when they when they were assigning positions, it, Emma was given three seats. Yeah. Remember? So she yeah. filled. So one, she filled one with, with Sebastian Shaw, okay. and she had one more left. Well, he thought he was going to give it to somebody else. Yeah. And so Emma Frost is back. He's all, I don't know. That ain't happening. So all um, the chicks so you've been I'm sleeping sorry, with whatever, telling them that you're going to give them that seat. you promised to, you know, you just got to disappoint them. And then, you know, she gave the seat to Kitty Pride. Now, why she did that, I have no idea. And right now, my feeling is that's not a good idea. Because she's drunk. Because she's just this drunk, well, she you know, figured, whatever. Well, she figures that Kitty Pride will back whatever place she makes. Yeah. So, so see, she seems to me, to me, Emma Frost seems to be on this women's or women's empowerment thing so maybe that's yeah. why she want to stay connected with the staff for people and she said us women need to stick together and now she took that seat and gave it to another woman kitty pride although right now to me kitty pride doesn't seem mature enough to be on that seat 
Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I was like, all right, I don't know why she did that. But I thought it was kind of cool that she was, you know, messing around with Sebastian Shaw and put him in his place. Even after he choked her and stuff, and she was yeah. like. And he was about to, he was about to, uh, he yeah, was she turned. Yeah, it, uh, he Yeah, she turned to Diamond, of course. So it was diamond, like, yeah. yeah, you can't, yeah, she what, was whatever. Like, okay, Sebastian yeah. Shaw. And he was can. like, and he was about to call her, what was funny is he was about to call her a bitch. And then Kitty Pride shows up and he, she, and she and says, she was like, I'm the red queen, I'm the bitch. red queen, bitch. Because he's about to call, yeah, Emma. So I thought that, that was, was real funny. Cool. I thought that was funny. But I was like, dude, really? Don't you see that Emma gets off on messing with you? You're losing your temper. You're getting mad. And she's yeah. staying calm. Well, she's like. He's always been a bit short-tempered. Yeah, though. you know, she's like, Psh, you don't bother me. That shoe fly don't bother me. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. And they got a new boat. So they're all happy. Or oh, yeah, yeah. They showed, the, they showed the boat in the first issue. But this time, oh, they're, okay. actually, they're actually giving the boat. So yeah, that's cool. So. And they got Bishop. Okay. They got Bishop, yes, yes. Okay. I knew Bishop was coming, but he just Bishop is just so cool to me. I just love me some Bishop. Uh, I mean, right now he's just a black dude. In yeah, the story, sure. He, like, uh, he told him that for gets... sex got killed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't know. Yeah, didn't know yeah, yet, that's right. They were out yeah, overseas doing her thing, so everybody looking like shocked or whatever. But this was, him. but what I thought was cool was that Iceman was like. He was like, okay, well, they he got killed, back. they bring him back. You know, and believe in the like, five. Well, and they're like, sure. well, we're not sure if it's going to work. And yeah, they're like, exactly. okay, so now all of a sudden, you know, I'm with Iceman. I'm like, dude, they just, oh, okay, okay, yeah, surprise. I, well, remember, but, it's harder to back. bring him back. You know, yeah. I think they explained that in the House of X thing that, it, you know, it will be hard. To, it's, it's harder to yeah, bring him back. They said in the uh, House of X that he had done it before. Yeah. Uh, but it was like, but they talk about yeah, like how say, supremely difficult yeah. it was to do. Yeah, and they really don't recommend it. But, yeah. you know, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, they found out that he was killed or whatever. Maybe they'll bring him yeah. back and he'll be warped. Ooh, yeah. that'll be fun. Uh, so, yeah, that was basically <laughs> it. You know, that was that was the book. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was It was a it was lot fun. of fun. It was a oh, lot yeah, of Kitty fun. Oh, yeah, Kitty kissed the dude that did her tattoo. Although, I wanted to see what tattoo they gave her. Oh, you didn't see it? It was on her, it was on her, it was on her fist. It said, um... She tattooed like uh, letters, uh, words on both of her hands, like you can see it. It says hold, oh, hold oh, fast, hold fast. Hold okay, fast. I didn't, re yeah. I didn't recognize that. And I was like, uh, when she took that little red cape, I was thinking, okay, maybe she's gonna be the person that um, Emma Frost put in charge. Because I was like, why she grabbed, the, you know, the red cape and they were talking yeah. about the Red Queen or whatever like that. And then yes, yeah, so we find out that yeah, Emma Frost did give her the seat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Emma Frost has said something to her before in a different issue. Yeah, she did. Okay. She did. Yeah, so I thought that was cool when she got a little. You know. and Emma Frost is kind of taking a liking to her, which is interesting because historically Emma and Kitty have not gotten along. So yeah. this is this is new. This is this is something new. It's 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 fun. Yeah. This to me is the most fun of all the books. I mean, just as far as just fun. This 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 for me is the one, and I hope so, it stays. I hope it stays. Iceman, around. did yeah. he get a tattoo on his face? Cause Iceman, said, no, Iceman. Iceman said that any tattoo that he got would show through his yeah, so and stuff, so he didn't get it. Tattoo? Pyro oh, got Pyro. a whole tattoo on his face. Yeah. That's like a well, he got like this half face tattoo. That's like a, a skull. It, it reminds you, okay. those of you who read Image Comics, it, it looks like a chapel from uh from M, from Spawn. So yeah, it's oh yeah, it does. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he got a half skull on his face. <laughs> that, that's, that was cool. You know, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if he even needs a mask anymore, <laughs> like the little thing, the little goggles or whatever that he had. So, but oh, whatever. I mean, it's a whole new look for him. Oh, and I thought it was funny that they took the boat and um, that they took from Sebastian. Yeah. And and they they sold it, or they were trying to. Pyro and um, Iceman, they're right here. Cause oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they sold his boat. They, they sold his boat. <laughs> cause, cause Storm was like, Storm was like, you know, the boat gonna get. Um, get to where, get back to his said, own, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, we're giving like, to oh, his right yeah, owner, yeah. Because Sebastian shot him. on that boat, yeah. so they basically, he has to write that off as a loss. That's Emma kicking him in the pockets. So, yeah, yeah. they just they just auctioned it off. Yeah, so, Emma, I mean, you know. <laughs> they yeah. auctioned it off in, in Taipei of all places. So, yes. you know you're not going to get any money for it. <laughs> yeah, like, that was messed up. Was, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, yeah, it was fun. It so, was fun. yeah, yeah. What, what would you give it, though, as far as, it was more fun than his caliber, that's for sure. But what would you give it? Like, uh, as far as like a rating, I like it. I'll give it an eight. Yeah. Well, I love I this book. You, you love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, um, um I'm not gonna say ten this time. I will oh, say okay. nine, nine and a half though. It was really good. Uh, I enjoyed I it. It was fun. It so was if fun you haven't tried it, if you haven't tried Marauders, try it. I, I, and the story is easy to follow for me. Yes, it's, it's easy for anyone to follow. Because <laughs> Excalibur, great. I was like, yeah, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Magic? Huh? <laughs> not just that. It was just the way that they tell the story. I was yeah. Like, you know. Anyway. Yeah. So there it is. 
uh, I think that and uh, Fallen Angels have the best, uh, they have the easiest stories to follow. So, there we go. All right. All right. Talk to you guys next time. Yep. Peace out. Bye.